Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 21st to the 31st, 2018 reading. Now I have a contest going on, so if you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below, you'll be entered to win a free reading by me. Now if you do this in all the videos, because this is going on from the is Kate Middleton having a baby boy or a baby girl, to the last video I will do for March 21st to the 31st, 2018. You can thumbs up the video, make sure that you've subscribed, which you can only do once, and then leave a comment below, and then that will up your chances to be able to win a free reading by me. Okay? So now Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I've already meditated upon the cards, and we're going to see what March 21st to the 31st has in store for you. Oh, beautiful Virgo. Make sure you can see everything okay. Okay. Okay, Virgo, send me or send Give me a moment to take everything in. Okay. You're getting a message of creativity, all right? And I don't think, and I'm just going to jump to a clarifying card because I don't think that the hangman right here was a mistake to be put right on top of the page of wands. So you're getting a message of creative clarity, of passionate clarity, of knowing what it is that you want and where it is that you're going, okay? And seeing how from the 21st to the 31st in those 10 days, you can really start manifesting your desires. And that's going to come through you looking at the world differently, from you maybe going out of your comfort zone, really starting to see things different from the way that you have always perceived things. It's as if your eyes are being opened because you are, you are experiencing things and the full ex extent of discomfort and really putting yourself out into situations that aren't your norm. Now this isn't saying to do anything crazy. I'm not telling you to be irresponsible in your life at all and go out to places where you feel uncomfortable or do things which make you feel uncomfortable or uneasy. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you're expanding your mind. You're expanding the way that you look at the world. You're expanding the way you see people's suffering, people's joy, people's happiness, because you are using your empathy and you are also having a heightened awareness of other people and of their hardships and their daily battles, okay? So even though that's one of your clarifying cards, that's part of your gift of creativity that's coming in, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. So you are using that creativity. You are using that ability to empathize and really see the world, okay? And that's reiterated right here in the Temperance card. So you're going deeper. You're seeing what it is that you desire, and you're going even deeper to see how it is you can manifest this in your life, how it is that you can use the spiritual, because you see here, she's underwater, right, with her hair floating like the little mermaid. She's underwater, and she's going deeper. She has a faithful companion here, so remember to rely on your true friends, okay, those people who stand by you in good or in bad, not the ones that, you know, fly away when things get tough. She's going even deeper with her jug into the water, so even though she's surrounded by spirit, she's going deeper into the spiritual, even though her feet are firmly planted on the bottom of the ocean floor. So this is a balance, and this is gaining even deeper knowledge, even deeper understanding of where you're going and what you're doing. Now, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this definitely pertains, but not only because this reading is about you, but the Queen of Pentacles is your sign. You're an Earth sign. So the Queen of Pentacles is one of the minor arcana, the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles that represents that Earth sign, okay? And so this is monetary prosperity. This is something you value as much as money. This could even be love okay, that you're really starting to open up your heart, that's giving you that empathy and that balance, all right, and you're starting to see the finer things in life. You've lived through your sorrow. Look at the puppies right here. That signifies sorrow to me, and you have the joy of the wild roses blooming above your head, and you are understanding where it is that you're going. You're moving forward, again, atypical feminine energy in peace and love and happiness in um, nurturing and understanding, okay, in 
a fierceness, a fierceness of spirit because she is a queen. She has to be fierce, but that's also tempered by a caring spirit, one that really wants to see people achieve the glory and the abundance that she has achieved. Now, the Five of Swords means that some people might be wishing you ill. Again, I don't read the Five of Swords like most people. Most people see this as deception or people not being fair. I see this as you have won. You have won in back in medieval times. That's why you have three swords in your hands and those who are on the floor. Back in medieval times, the winner of a battle got to take the armor or a joust or anything like that. One of the games got to take the armor, the weapons, even the horse of the loser. That's why it was such a big deal and so much emphasis, there we go, was put on these events. She's won, okay? And she's not sorry for her success, nor should she be. She fought well, okay? She won over two opponents and now she's disarmed them. She has her own sword and those swords are crossed on the battle field, meaning that they're not going to be a threat to her anymore. So what this is saying to me is that you're winning. You, right here, with the Queen of Pentacles, represented by the Queen of Pentacles, are achieving what it is that you want, even though you have met with opposition, even though people haven't wished you well and have tried to stop you, and maybe have even made you doubt yourself. You haven't let those doubts take root. You are moving past them, and they are moving out of your life, and you are succeeding. Okay, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is a time of success. From the 21st to the 31st, you are learning about yourself more. You are knowing yourself better. You are really preparing not only for today, but tomorrow and the next day and the next through deeper wisdom and through really being able to empathize with other people. I mean, that's a huge part. I don't know if when you succeed, it's going to be a success over people who were actually treating other people unfair and injustice that you saw because with the High Priestess here, you're seeing things on multiple levels. You're looking deeper at the world around you. You're seeing the true value of people, the surface value, what they want you to see, but then you're seeing who they really are, where they're really going. It's an inner, inner insight. You're having insight into people that you haven't had before, and this is making you stronger. Now, the Strength card is in the right or right deck, is a woman with a lion, and she's petting the lion, and everything's really cool between them. But this one is a man with a boar. Now, know that boar hunts were a big deal because... I was a medieval history major, guys. Boar hunts were a big deal because boars are nasty. They would gut you. They were vicious. They were small, so they're fast. And it really showed a level of prowess and power to be able to defeat a boar. This man hasn't defeated the boar. He's riding right alongside it. So that's showing even greater strength. He hasn't killed a foe that could cause him terrible harm, just like this person hasn't killed the enemies. Okay, They're walking free. They just don't have anything to use to attack her again with. And because this, these are the swords, okay, this is mental attacking. This is mentally preparing yourself to be the victor and mentally preparing yourself for this battle to come because this is all swords are in the mind, having that sharp weapon, which is your own thoughts, okay? And because of the strength, you are moving forward in a kind, compassionate, caring way. Again, atypical feminine energy to have the bounty that you want, all right? Know that you are going to be able to see things on multiple levels, see the truth of matters for what they really are, okay? You're, you're gaining wisdom while still keeping the vigor of yourself, okay? So if you can see here, I don't know if you can. Oh, we'll just do it like that. Okay. Her face is split in half. One half, this half, ah, okay, that half, there. That's an old woman and the other half is a young woman. So this is wisdom, wisdom gained through age and experience. That's why I'm saying empathy is right now very important for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. That empathy, that being able to see things through multiple eyes, that being able to experience pain that maybe you yourself haven't lived through, but because you are being, you're opening your heart and have that compassion and have that desire to go even deeper, into the spiritual realm and really find that balance there for your soul and yourself, you're going to find that you are using the wisdom of 
that's gained through age and understanding while still being able to see your dreams manifest with the vigor and the vitality of youth, okay? The strength card means that you're almost unstoppable. No one's going to hold you back. No one's going to keep you down. Okay, you know what you want. You know where you're going. There's even a little lion's head right there on his horse front. So the horse can be used as a weapon. The boar is definitely going to be used as a weapon. And the man is a weapon. The lion's head there signifies strength and vigor and vitality. So even that probably could be used as a weapon if somebody tries to bite the horse. So what this is saying to me is that your strength is being able to prepare yourself. Your strength is being able to defend yourself and fight back and know what it is that you want and where it is that you're going and be able, being able even to defend people who might not be able to have a say in what they want and what they're doing. This doesn't have to be something monumental. This doesn't have to mean that you're... Uh, person who is defending the little, per little person, okay, in a court case or through social work or anything like that. This means that from the 21st of March to the 31st of March, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you're going to find your own victory. You're going to find your own strength in the ability to defend what is most dear, with, dear to you and defend the understanding and the compassion of other people, okay? And you're taking, here this is changing your point of view, this is gaining empathy with the hangman, and with the seven of swords, it's taking everything that you've learned and moving forward with it. It is a weight on your back, okay? So know that some of you might feel, you know, a little bit dragged down, but you have a little helpmate right here, and you are moving away from the tents where you once thought that you would find safety and solace, and you're moving to the unknown but you're going forward with wisdom and dignity of self, okay? This is very much a week, a week, a 10 days of personal growth and personal understanding for Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Trust your intuition, trust your feelings because they're not going to serve you wrong. You're going even deeper into yourself and that depth of soul and a purpose is going to let you see, you're going deeper into yourself, that depth of soul and purpose is going to let you see things for as they truly are. It's going to give you that empathy, which is going to have you manifest that gift of creativity in a way that you might not have thought of manifesting it before. It might be in the way of artwork or in your work or just some way that you are bringing that beauty of your understanding to the people around you. You are definitely being victorious because your strength is so more than uh, physical prowess. It is also a strength of soul and of understanding and of kindness. And that's what's going to serve you the best, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, your kindness. You're able to defend yourself through your intellect and you're able to carry the weight of what you have learned forward to build a stronger and better tomorrow for yourself. Okay. Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. I hope you have resonated with this reading. Please give it a thumbs up if you had. Remember to enter into the contest. You have to subscribe to the channel. You have to give this video a thumbs up at least and comment below to at least this video. If you want to heighten your chances, you can do it from the Kate Middleton. Is Kate Middleton having a baby boy or a baby girl video all the way to the last video of March 21st to the 31st. Okay. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck, peace, and happiness. Enjoy. Love and light. Bye, guys.